So ladies and gentlemen, you heard us earlier, we were talking around the machines with the walk around, uh, espousing some of the benefits that you're going to receive uh, from that 20 ton excavator that you know, we launched three years ago, the next generation excavator, bringing those positive attributes down for you on our smaller lineup, the 13 to 18 ton lineup. So what we'd like to do is actually show you some of those ease of use features, those positive attributes on a job site and uh, take you through that, okay? So I'm gonna turn that over to Frank here in just a second. What we do is we have the 315 compact radius you saw it earlier. So the 315, as you can see now, uh, I've got a setup, we've got a VA boom on that 315, which is you'll see that primarily in Europe for sure. Uh, you see the blade, you get a 2.7 meter blade, got the 2.2 meter stick on the VA boom, uh, counterweight, 3.8 ton counterweight. Again, that VA boom, you'll see that a lot of times on the compact radius because we are working usually in tight quarters, maybe urban spaces, lots of traffic in and out. Want to make sure that uh, we're safe and we're conscious of what's around us. Um, now, we, you heard us talk about comfort. You heard us talk about confidence when we were explaining the performance machines during the walk around. Uh, you remember Frank was with me and Frank's in that 315 compact radius. Frank's got a lot of work to do today and he wants to be comfortable. As you can see, he's comfortable in the cab, but he also wants to remain confident as he's using those ease of use features to make him as efficient as possible on the job site today. Got a lot of trenching, got a lot of work, and he's going to use those features to help him do that. So Frank, can you hear me okay? Yes, hello Randall. Hey. I can hear you loud and clear, man. Excellent, excellent. So Frank, I know you got a lot to do today. You're going to use those features, those ease of use features to make you more efficient, make you more confident. So let's get going. Okay, so again, as Randall said, I'm going to show you some of the ease of use features that we have in our small excavators that are pretty much carried on from our medium-sized excavators. So the first one I want to show you, so I'm just going to set it up first, okay? Okay, so again, these uh, compact radius with VA booms, we can tend to be in tight areas. So one of the first features I want to show you is about the safety. So I want to show you the E-fences. So the first one I want to show you is the E-fence floor. Okay, so basically what I'm doing, I'm just putting the bucket and telling it here. Okay, you see I've got a, a measurement, a height. This is basically the height um, from the ground level of the machine. So if I wanted, I could punch in a different number to give it an offset, okay? But are we going to do it just here in the air so you can see it easier and better? Okay, so you can see this green line illuminated below, meaning I've activated my e-fence floor. So I'm going to hold the boom down now. I'm holding it and I'm coming to a stop. It's a nice smooth stop and there's an audible warning inside the cab. So it's not allowing me to go below that cut. The good thing is it's going to lock out any movement that could go below that um, desired um, height. So you can see even the VA boom, I'm moving the VA boom now and it's even locking out the VA boom, not allowing me to go below that height. Frank, that's a fantastic feature in case you've got uh, pipes, water pipes, cables, fiber optic underneath there when you're digging, not going to let you go further and damage that material. Is that right? Correct. So I could put a, a, a virtual floor, let's say, underneath if I knew I had pipes two meters below the ground. I could put a virtual um, E floor and not allow me to go below those two meters so I wouldn't um, hit the pipe. Okay. So again, another one I want to show you is if I had utility lines above us, so power lines or something, we have the same for the ceiling. So I'm going to turn this one on. Okay, and you're going to see it works the same way. I have a number that I can change the ceiling height. I have the green line illuminated, um, warning me that the ceiling is hot. So you can see, as soon as I get to that ceiling height, it's locking me out, not allowing me to go above that uh, height. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to leave this one on, okay? Because um, if I have power lines above, I want to keep on working in a safe environment. So the next thing I wanted to show you, is, okay, is the cat grade control, okay? So I've got my e-fence set up on top, on the, above me, if, for my utility line. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to bench off this stake that I have here. Okay. And so what I'm going to do now, I'm just benching. This is my cat grade control screen, okay? 
So you can see I told the machine already I want to go down 70 centimeters from where I just benched and I want a 2% slope towards the machine for the water drainage to come this way. Okay, I already preset a little bit, the, I pre-dug a bit the trench, sorry, um, just so it's a little bit faster to show you. Okay, so you can see now, here I've got the light bar indication telling me my height and uh, the numbers telling me um, that I have to cut or fill. Okay, um, just wanted to highlight that this is only indication right now, the way I have it activated. Okay, but it's still a very good tool. Um, so the grade control there, Frank, you went down, is it 70 centimeters? 70 centimeters from the stake, correct. Right, so you've got the audible warnings in there, and you also had the light bars on the monitor. Correct. Indicating exactly where you are if you're, on, if you're at the depth and you're on slope. That's correct. Okay, so what I'm going to do now, I'm just going to do a small touch point to come a little bit further back to do another dig, okay? So I'm going to do it via monitor, just so you can see what I'm actually doing. Okay, so I'm going to do a touch point and I'm going to track back the machine to where I can reach again from, okay? This is just in case the ground is changing. Um, that way the machine knows um, the elevation height difference from the machine. So you're just, <clears throat> you're using that cat grade control just to be more confident, making sure you're on grade and you're getting the slope correct, not guessing. Correct, I'm not guessing in between stakes. So again, We've seen a couple of digs and I want to continue working with the grade, still with my E-fence e ceiling. But I want to also show you, um, I can also have the payload on at the same time. So this is my payload screen. What I'm going to do, I'm going to turn on my payload. Yeah, so you're going to turn on payload, so I guess you want to measure how much material you're moving. Correct. So, for example, if I was digging a trench and the material had to go outside, I had to load a truck, I could still be working with my, you can see I'm on my payload screen, but I still have the depth indication and my light bar indication for the depth, and I still have my ceiling active. So I can, right now, I'm basically using all three technologies um, at once. Yeah, so you don't have to turn off the ease of use features, the technologies, as you said, to perform on the job site. Correct. I can, uh, I can have them all working together. So you can see now this bucket has got 0 0.66 tons and as I dump it, it's going to transfer into the truck body. Okay. You can see I could have a target here if I was loading a truck with its target, but just for the demo purpose itself, we're just keeping eye of how many tons we're actually moving. So you're staying here on depth, you're staying on slope, you're not going to hit the electrical lines above you because you've got e-sealing and you know exactly how much material you're moving because you're measuring the weight. That's correct. Oh, that's a fantastic system. All those positive attributes, Frank, that you're familiar with on the 20-ton excavator, next generation, down into the smaller lineup. So ladies and gentlemen, we, we've demonstrated again, you know, that F-Series product that we had, good, good machine, but here we are, we have the full enchilada. We have the full suite of ease of use technology built into the small excavator lineup, the next generation. This is a compact radius 315, as we talked about, you know, great uh, in urban environments where you're in close contact. Uh, there may be traffic, there may be cars, there may be lots of people moving around. This is a fantastic machine for that. You got the VA boom. Frank, once again, making you more efficient, making you more confident. You used, utilize, take me through it once again. You use uh, E floor, is that correct? Correct, I started off with the E floor. I've left on the E ceiling. So right now I have an electronic boundary above me for my utility lines. I'm working with the cat grade control only guidance. And I also have the payload on. So I'm working with these three technologies combined together all at the same time. So you could just trench, trench all day doing the same thing. Is that correct? That's correct. Making you more efficient, okay. Well, Frank, I think that's going to do it. Again, that, that performance machine, at the end of the day, we're being more productive. Frank's going to be certainly more efficient, and we're trying to lower those owning and operating costs for you on the job site with these products. Frank, thanks very much for that presentation. Really Thank appreciate you. it. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, that's going to wrap it up. Really appreciate your attention, and we'll see you later.